Dalai Lama won't be coming to South Africa and Malema's disciplinary hearing is postponed. Good afternoon. It's official. Exiled Tibetan spiritual leader, the Dalai Lama will not come to South Africa for Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu's birthday, even if he's granted a visa by government today. A parliamentary correspondent, Mercedes Besant, spoke to the Dalai Lama spokesperson, Denzing Takla, in an exclusive interview from India. Takla says the Dalai Lama has, however, agreed to do the video link with the Archbishop on Saturday morning for the Desmond Tutu Peace Lecture, which will take place at the University of the Western Cape. Takla elaborates. Well, now it would be impossible. I mean, logistically, trying to get His Holiness to South Africa, now it, it, it just wouldn't work out now anymore. I mean, we live in a, in a quite a remote area in northern India, so just getting down to a, to a major international airport would take, you know, one day, and then from there traveling, and then the tickets have, um, we don't have any tickets right now, nothing. So uh, and this time now traveling is just out of the question. Home Affairs Minister Nkosazana Dlamini Zuma says her department should not be dragged into the Dalai Lama visa issue. Dlamini Zuma was, rather has dismissed assertions that her department referred the visa application to the Department of International Relations. She responded to media questions during a press briefing in Parliament a short while ago. Dlamini Zuma says international relations dealt with the Dalai Lama visa application previously before the application was sent to Home Affairs. If it wasn't dealt with by them, we would have been the one, Ronnie would have been the one talking on the matter. And obviously, if a head of state or a person of certain stature apply, of course, international relations has to be involved in one way or the other. And so they dealt with the matter. They received the memorandum from the demonstrators here. It wasn't home affairs. If it was home affairs, we would have dealt with it and we we would have spoken on it one way or the other. It wasn't our issue. It was their issue. They dealt with it. So I think we should accept that. Don't try and drag us. We've got too many of our own problems. The National Freedom Party added its voice for calls to government to grant a visa to exiled Tibetan spiritual leader, the Dalai Lama. NFP says it's surprising that President Jacob Zuma has kept quiet about the Dalai Lama's visa debacle. The party's national spokesperson, Shange Zom Velasa, says they strongly condemn the disrespect shown to the Dalai Lama and to Archbishop Desmond Tutu. The actions of our government have divided South Africans and their work at large. It is very much disappointing that the ANC government has opted to disrespect these two old leaders. We still appeal to our government to continue to grant to this spiritual leader if there is a chance, as Mr. Mutlande has promised. Lastly, it is quite surprising that Mr. Jacob Zuma, as the head of the state, is so quiet on the matter. Northwest Provincial Director of Prosecutions Johann Smith is reported to have taken over in the bail application by former Rustenburg Mayor Matthew Volmerans and three of his accomplices. Smith is famous for having successfully assisted in the conviction of the killer of a Pretoria police officer, Francis Rasuche, three years ago. Volmerans is linked to the murder of former councillor Moss Parkway, who was following tender irregularities in 2009. Tabezi Midita reports. Armed with an experience of over 30 years, Johan Smith has a vast experience. Starting from the former Bishopwala judicial system, known for his toughness, he managed to convince the court in the Rasuke case to find a killer guilty and sent to jail for life. Although the proceedings today, here in Rustenburg, were delayed due to logistics, the matter has drawn a lot of interest. Like in the past appearances, those supporting the accused are wearing t shirts, bearing the face of former Rustenburg mayor, Matthew Volmarang, and the others in Lesh wearing red Kosatu and SACP t shirts. ANC Youth League President Julius Malema's disciplinary hearing has been postponed. Malema's legal representatives requested the postponement after the Youth League leader took ill and had to be admitted to a Polokwane hospital. The hearing has now been tentatively scheduled for the 15th of this month, depending on Malema's health condition. And finally, former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin has declared she will not run for the White House next year. The 47-year-old's announcement ends months of uncertainty over her plans. Palin attracted worldwide attention when the Republican John McCain chose her as his running mate in the last election. 
Since then, she's signed lucrative television deals, published two best-selling books, and championed the grassroots conservative Tea Party movement. The